Hello, I'm Bob Lacey with Hankey Manufacturing. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you today about level lifting of your plow and proper chain adjustment. Uh, chain adjustments we recommend to achieve best performance of uh, level lifting. What we see a lot of times out in the field after we've delivered a plow, uh, we'll note that our chain arrangement has been changed. We have a, a three segment chain arrangement that is our standard. And we often come to a user's job site and we see what we have here, two individual chains uh, with uh, a lift arm. This is an adjustable hinky lift arm. We have a, a sliding inner tube where you can adjust the, the length of this tube. Uh, we either see the hanky lift arm fully retracted or there's other manufacturers which do have this size of lift arm. It's uh, rather limited in length. It's a fixed position. Um, and uh, that affects your level lifting performance uh, very much. So we'll show you what we see in the field, and usually when we're uh, responding to reports of improper level lifting performance, we'll see this two-piece arrangement, that, and I'll explain why uh, this causes issues as far as level lifting. As this plow is angled, when this lift arm sits behind your pivoting point and your, the pick point of your plow, as this angles, this chain length needs to grow longer. Since we're creating a, more of a distance between the end of this arm, the pick point or the pivot point, and where the chain will now be located as the, this follows the arc as the plow angles, for example, to the right. So, uh, Tim, our sales engineer will start up the truck and we'll demonstrate this. Uh, lift the plow and we'll angle first right and to the left. Good, good. 